All right, good evening everyone. System Chalk here with the eighth episode of the Dancer DLC for Cultist Simulator. The first DLC released for this game alongside a free update which gave us the Apostle Legacy as well as Romances. So, uh, we're continuing to perform at the Gaiety Theatre. We do need to make sure that Lord Monday's um, invitation uh, does not go unanswered. Um, but at the moment, we've been trying to level up our strength, and we're always so close. Uh, we do have the Course of the Heart, which is coming up. Now, this is a fairly important one for us to keep in mind, because this is actually potentially where we have the breakthrough. So we're exercising the body right now, so that's going to give us our third lesson learned. Now, this has 268 seconds, this has 207. So we're going to need uh, 29 seconds for the current activity. 60 seconds to combine uh, these two vitality and that will give us our fourth uh, our fourth lesson learned so by my reading of the situation we should be able to get uh, get the final um, improvement we'll see whether or not it works out that way but that's uh, that's kind of what the current plan is we are going to deal with the uh, season of ambitions now in 17 seconds we're going to generate a restlessness and we're going to need probably we're definitely going to need more than a minute to uh, do the performance for Lord Timothy Monday and get to the point where we can do something extra at the Gaiety. So I think we should need to prepare for the possibility that uh, we'll generate another Dread. What I may do is use the Fleeting Reminiscence here to see if I can maybe um, you know, get lucky with a Contentment. But we'll see, we'll see where it all goes. For now, I'm going to, uh, just going to let the rest of the plans kind of move forward and... Uh, We'll sort of react to whatever comes up. An overlooked place I might have found somewhere unusual. And my own heart pumps more strongly today. Might have found somewhere unusual. Okay, so we got another uh, course of the heart, which is good. I mean, it's uh, it's a surplus, but we didn't, you know, we didn't know that it, that would turn out that way originally. So we did find Oriflam, so if I want, I can actually start going there to get more books. Now, it's debatable as to whether or not this is the best use of the Explorer verb right now, um, but I do at least have the option. And I am actually going to have a bit of trouble here. It's 21 se so I've got 16 seconds left at the Gaiety. Oh no, hang on, but we are going to need the... Oh no, so we are going to be able to use the Restlessness. I was mistaken. Towards the second change, the skin I bear will grow too small, and so I must begin to abandon it. I will need to send a part of myself to learn how. I am no further along my path of change. In the movements of the secret forms, I must find my lesson. Okay, so we should be able to use this when the time comes. Okay, so we grab our vitality, combine it. I'm a brim with vitality. If I devote enough time to exercise, I'll benefit. And actually, in this case, let's get Eldridge to search the city. Crowded thoroughfares by day, a fog-wrapped labyrinth by night. I'll set my minions searching for opportunities. And tonight I sense an opportunity. Tonight I could attract attention. If I cease to hold back, if I commit myself more fully. Tonight, they'll notice that. Okay, so we've got our health back. So what I was originally worried about was not having a health for the performance. Clearly that was overstated. Um, I'm just trying to think, so I can shave six seconds off this, or I can wait four seconds and turn a 60 second into a 30 second. I'm just trying to think if there's any... Now, you know what? We'll take advantage of the opportunities as they come, so I just need a little time to recover my energies. Tonight, uh, sorry, wrong one. I felt all eyes upon me. Afterwards, I received a gift from an admirer. Too gaudy for my tastes, but I can sell it on the second-hand market. Okay. My benefactor would be delighted if I'd offer a private performance for a small and refined audience. They'll invite me to dinner afterwards, and of course offer suitable gifts in return for my time. So we'll leave Street Strange by Moonlight for now, and I am going to check out the 
Oh, actually, I don't need to. Uh, that, if anything, that's going to generate dread. Well, not necessarily. That could generate something good as well. But we've dealt with the restlessness, so I don't need to worry too much. And I will have a mystique that I generate that uh, triggers the season of suspicion. But as long as I keep my nose clean, we will be uh, we'll be okay. Another course of the heart. <laughs> I am refreshed. Okay. So yeah, my worry about uh, not being able to make the... Uh, my worry about not being able to make the health for the uh, private engagement clearly was overstated. Come with me. All right, we got a hanger on. Maybe not the most exciting... Uh, not the most exciting one for us to get this early, but... Can't complain about. Uh, I can't complain about not uh, about. Um... <sighs> Sorry, words fail. I can't complain about getting more bodies for uh, for the organization. I'll I'll be able to make uh, make use of them. In this case, actually, I think we'll do a small recruitment drive. So let's get uh, Rhaenyra in. I guess I used to use recruitment as a way of getting rid of uh, negative negative influences, but in this case, we'll just. Uh, take the barber's warning. So as a reminder, Rhaenyra has been found not guilty three times in three separate jurisdictions. She will likely never be found guilty of anything. And we can send Eldridge out on the exploration. Tonight my benefactor will prefer to see me in something new. I should buy something quickly. Man, they really want me to show off all the latest fashions. All right, I am ready to grow stronger. Use this lesson learned with your strength skill. So there's the four vitality that we needed. And of course, we need something more. If I know the right lore, I can employ uh, the invisible arts to reach an even higher summit. I must choose between strength and grace. Through the fire we fly, and it shall not consume us. So if I want to preserve this vitality for longer, we can combine it into a lesson learnt, but it's not uh, not necessary. I've chosen my attire well for the performance. My benefactor showers me with compliments and gifts. Okay, back to the gaiety, although I noticed that the timer between uh, Nicole and the gaiety is getting closer. Another course of the heart. Wow, we're really... Uh, Really knocking it out of the park here. Once we're uh, once we're at um, sort of full capacity with the hearts, I'm going to be using uh, the dream slot for proper dreams. Um, but for the meantime, I'm I'm happy to use it uh, use it the way I have been. My adversary is asking searching questions about my activities. And moth sheds its skin. The novice must only shed their clothes and their past. Rhaenyra continues to pursue her appetites discreetly, although her ambitions have grown. Okay. Uh, I can also bring the hanger on in. Now, normally the hangers are uh, hangers on are uh, my dumping ground for um, for the uh, for the influences. So in this case, I'll I'll resist the the temptation. I am refreshed. Okay, so there is a plan here. Uh, and in this case, we're going to go through the wood. If I have enough passion, I can walk the dream road to the wood. If I have the right knowledge, I might be able to find a way beyond it. Oops. Okay, now I pass uh, between Scarbark's trees. The moon passes behind branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I'm stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. So 
The plan here now is going to be try to generate a lot of glimmering. And one of the things that I've done here, and I might even go so far as to translate all of the books, is I've given myself kind of a chance to just read everything in quick succession and to be able to take the, you know, whatever opportunities present themselves. So, for instance, if there's a glimmering that shows up, if there's an erudition that shows up, to be basically be able to capitalize on it by reading more works along those lines. It's also kind of neat. I can order the books around so that maybe we can try and read series sort of in a close uh, close connection with each other. Um, but that's that's going to be sort of the next uh, stage of the plan. So um, I didn't like that's not why I've been hoarding the books. I've been hoarding the books because I've been using my study verb to kind of get my my health up. But other than the fact that I want to try and get my uh, my um, vivid imagination up so that I can have more passion right now, uh, the goal is going to be towards gaining more lore and towards gaining more um, uh, towards uh, gaining sort of the raw materials with which I'll improve my skills. Okay. Yes, we'll use our passion. Tonight, they'll notice that. You can see why I want to use the passion, right? Because if I try to recruit... Oh! Actually, I'm going to need to leave this passion out because if I'm speaking of esoteric matters, um, I can't afford to have... Uh, I need to have a passion available. I'm actually already in uh, in danger um, because if I need passion for uh, nickel, um, it's going to potentially get sucked up by the talk verb. We're kind of committed though, so no storm can break the tree that bends. So we have a flawless physique. Machine perfection, sinew-bound ivory, tight in satin skin. From here, I can only deteriorate. Okay, so again, this vitality would be wonderful to turn into lessons learned, but that's really wasting the study verb here. So I think I am going to do the translation. So guard sides will be uh, kept to the side just because I don't have any tantras to read right now. But I do have Latin and I do have Greek to translate. So we'll start uh, by reading Gildersleeves. Just what I need to refresh your knowledge, sorry, just what you need to refresh your knowledge of Latin. I recall a certain amount from my school days, uh, but I need to brush up. So I was delighted to find out, I think what happened was um, I had been checking out a collection of classics and found out that this was a real book, and then somebody had pointed out that Gildersleeves was also uh, true. It's actually available on the Internet Archive uh, of all places. Well, maybe not of all places. I suppose that's the sort of thing the Internet Archive would be interested in holding, but... I was delighted to find out just how many of those things were real. I know there's some things like um, Dr. Redeem, I think, maybe comes as news of being a, a historical person uh, for some people, but definitely for me, the uh, the surprise was, uh, was a couple of the books. My benefactor would be delighted if I'd offer a private performance for a small and refined audience. They'd invite me to dinner afterwards and, of course, offer suitable gifts in return for my time. Better not. I must be careful of the company I keep. All right. Crowded thoroughfares by day, a fog-wrapped labyrinth by night. I'll set my minions searching for opportunities. Okay, so I want to be mindful of any fascination. That can come from books, but generally not the lower tier books. We'd more likely get it from Street Strange by Moonlight, actually. But And found another place unusual. If I get the chance to explore it, I will, but there's... An Another reason why Rainier is kind of useful in this in this situation. And here we are. So we can take a peculiar rumor. Now this is tempting because it does give me another follower, but it comes so at the cost of notoriety, and I'm not really in a position where I can deal with notoriety prop, uh, properly yet. So I think I'm going to focus on the well and the temple of the wheel for now, and the question just is, which of these two do I want? I think let's try the temple of the wheel. Um, oh, it doesn't show me anymore. Interesting. Okay. Um, so... A uh, furtive truth, a detail smuggled in from an adjacent narrative. Don't speak where the, you may be overheard. In my sleep, I came to the high, uh, high jagged rock, which is still called the Temple of the Wheel, though, uh, though the hour called the Wheel is long extinct. 
Another hand had scratched a secret in the ba in Black Lantern on its flank. I burned that secret into my memory to preserve uh, for waking, before the velvet came out of the velvet wood depths and erased it. Velvet is jealous of her secrets. Okay. So this is actually a better, uh, better secret history than I was aiming for, but uh, we'll, we'll take what we're given. So yeah, this passion's going to be exhausted, so the worry that I have... Oh no, we don't have that worry anymore because it was reason, and I believe that will be mistaken identity. No, we do not have Dr. Redeem yet. Okay, so the temptation might be to uh, use the wood, but I want to see what we need to give up in, uh, in the performance. Tonight I danced and laughed, and I was charming with my benefactor and delightful with our guests. Everyone is happy, and I have a little something. Something enough to live on for a good while. So we didn't need to give up anything. Good. So we will uh, head back to the wood. Oh, boy. Okay, let's just settle down. Oh, right, I get it. Now I pass between the scarbark trees. The moon press, uh, sorry, passes behind the branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I'm stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. And I think the contract at the gaiety, yeah, that's going to be running out first, so we head there. You'll notice I've stopped uh, using the dream slot for uh, fatigue, and that's really just because I... Uh, it's... I, I don't want my life to be focused on being a dancer, basically. Um, and so the time has come for me to try and uh, take advantage of some other other opportunities. Of course, the Mantis is also going to be providing me uh, some of the, the materials that I need. You can get vitality from the Mantis, but uh, maybe not as reliably as through other means. All right. Uh, the doors of the Palace of Memory are opened. Maybe what I'll do here is I'll just do the translations first. So this is The Orchid Transfigurations, Volume 2, a 16th century alchemical fever dream attributed to Robert Flood, frequently banned for the disturbing allure of its illustrations. This is in the original Latin. Wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. And we've got a trembling in the air, but again, I don't need to worry because fascination's a little less likely right now. Not impossible to come up, but less likely than some of the, of the others. And we have... Okay, another season of sickness coming up, uh, but we should still have some vitality kicking around. It's close, but I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. And yes, we found Dr. Adim. Dr. Ibn al adim called the Alapine, has an interest in overlooked history. He could use your assistance. All right. Uh, do I want to talk? Actually, one thing I should be trying is maybe to get... Well, am I really going to do commissions with benefactors? No. Um, so let's not use the talk verb for that. Let's instead uh, talk about the Barber's Warning again. And in fact, let's use the Wood Whisper for that. Talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. Better not. I must be careful of the company I keep. So we'll send Rhaenyra out to explore again. And with the opportunity at the Gay D Theatre, under normal circumstances, I would want to use the passion. But we don't have a lot of passion. We do have a lot of health. So we will... Actually, one thing that would be kind of interesting is if you could use the... Uh... Oh, that's an interesting idea, actually. So this does count as an ability. And it does make sense that you'd use your flawless physique. I want to I wanna see if this works, actually. I stayed aloof. I moved the moves and stepped the steps and did what was required. And now they'll pay me. Okay, so you can't use your flawless physique to uh, to generate a little more money. That was, that was an experiment worth trying. I mean, the gaiety isn't our our main source of, of income. It's our reliable source of income. 
but uh, my benefactor would be delighted if I offered a private performance for a small and refined audience. They'll invite me to dinner afterwards, and we'll read the rest. Okay, so an occult scrap's not a bad idea right now. Um, although the question is, am I really going to be going on an expedition anytime soon? It's not like I have to. It's not like I have to start stacking these up. I guess the question is, where else am I going to get them, though? Um, yeah. I walked in the woods last night, and the scissors worked in the distance, and the furred things crammed in my mouth and swarmed my ears, and I felt the old urge to drop to wolf fours and nose among the roots, but I remembered that I walk upright by day, and I know fire and steel and words. And at last I found where the velvet had concealed a secret in, uh, on the tree bark beneath the moss. I read it then with the tips of my fingers, and I think now that I could write it in full. So I guess I could probably impose a little more order in the lore section. So of course I'd love to be using more passion right now, but I do need to keep in mind. So we're doing a performance for a benefactor. And we are speaking of esoteric matters, so it's possible that we'll already have our passion ninja at exactly the wrong moment. Although I suppose I can recover some health if I'm not going to be using the the dream slot. I have prepared the text for study. Okay, keep mindful of any potential dread. So, 52 seconds. Ah! So I'm going to lose all this vitality. <laughs> Didn't plan that out properly. Although we may get a course of the heart. Nope, we don't. So I will uh, spend some time with the study verb to get, get the vitality. There's really no point in wasting it. Yep, so I better hope that my benefactor doesn't want passion. My benefactor finds me engaging. Tonight I danced and laughed, and I was charming with my benefactor and delightful with our guests. Everyone was happy, and I have a little something. Something to live on for a good while. So this is the time I really might want to consider Oriflabs, given the funds that I have. It's also true that I'm not at a point where I'm actually reading all the books, so I would you know, want to generate uh, extra glimmering and such, so... Now is not a bad time for me to follow up on some of that. In any case, we're still going to run ahead with the gaiety. And... I think I can afford to go to the wood. Or not, I must be careful of the company I keep. So we'll leave Vernira there for now, and we are going to start going to Oriflams. We perch on alarming Reekveld chairs in a windowless auction room with vividly burnt orange walls, waiting for the auctioneer to announce what he's offering. The reek of new paint makes the brain spin. The crowd of pinched faces, glinting eyes. Who will bid? And we've got Stumm. That's going to cost us a projector, but certainly within our means. Okay, we've prepared Deiris for study. Now, um, normally I'd be translating the Orchid tr uh, Transfigurations, but sadly we don't have Vitality, so I'm going to take one minute, fresh air and exercise, to deal with the Affliction when the time comes. And coming up, we've got sort of a free turn, so that's a little bit of good news for me. And we can put some extra effort in. This time it has to be health, although that is a bit of a worry just given how much is, uh, you know, how much I'm currently... I got a lot on my plate right now, um, so I'm a little worried about the uh, the demands on my, my character. But we should be able to get through it. The auctioneer makes a note of my name and signals one of the attendants. I have my prize. I hope it's worth it. If you're interested in kind of backstory for characters, this is one of these interesting points where 
you can see a few different ways that these stories, like that the story can sort of weave in. So, you know, I've been spending quite a bit of time in sort of higher society. I've been learning, you know, I've, I've gone from the point. So my main source of money is, of course, my body. And so that's why I've been taking the time to train as you know, in the immortal words of, of Britney Spears. You know, if you want a hot body, you got to work, right? Um, but uh, the... You know, so much of my work and so much of my income has actually been coming from these connections in high society and my ability not just to make those connections, but to be able to operate in them, you know, to be charming, to be able to employ my reason or my passion on command. And we sort of talked originally about sort of maybe getting, you know, finding book because it's interesting and it was in Latin and then we get a, a book about translating Latin. Now we are actually refining these abilities, but you can also sort of see how... Um, having established ourselves and being able to operate in these environments, uh, now I'm actually kind of willing to go into the auction house where I'm willing to sort of, you know, raise my hands. Not only do I have the funds for it, but I have sort of the connections and the knowledge to be able to do so. And so, you know, you don't have to view the, the story that way. Margaret, it just could be that, you know, one thing happened to follow after the other and that there wasn't necessarily cause between it. But the reason why narrative games are so interesting, and particularly a game like um, Cult of Simulator, which gives you sort of these little Legos to play with in the forms of the cards, I always kind of like to think of this as specifically just being sort of the confidence and the ability growing. And so the reason why we find ourselves at Oriflames now is that now is the right time to be going to Oriflames as much as it is just the opportunity came up. Tonight they'll notice that. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I felt their eyes upon me. Afterwards I received a gift from an admirer. Too gaudy for my tastes, but I can sell it in the second hand market. Okay, so again, we need to maintain our contacts. We will be getting our health back, so I'm not too worried about that. And we'll pay for the outfit. My benefactor would be delighted if I'd offer a private performance for a small and refined audience. They'll invite me to dinner afterwards, and of course, offer suitable gifts in return for my time. I'm safe for now. My adversary has not enough evidence to bring a case against me, and they found no new clues. Yeah, that doesn't feel like the right spot to put Douglas. Come with me. All right, we found Tristan. Tristan dislikes distractions. Tristan gets things done. You may be able to recruit this acquaintance as a follower. So we definitely want to have at least one passion available to us. So in this case, we need to keep that. Uh, we need to keep that in the area. And I think actually we're going to bring Tristan into the fold right away. So. Recruit an acquaintance by invoking moth. This one is ready. Crowd of pinch faces, glinting eyes. Who will bid? I will bid when the time comes. Let's go to the well this time. Nope, oh, another peculiar rumor. Okay, so I want to be uh, I want to be careful about uh, seasons of suspicion, but I do also want to take advantage of this when the time comes. So. Uh, so many things rise from the well in the wood. Last night it was a swarm with wormy roots. The trees clustered and whispered. Perhaps they were welcoming the influx. I found a sleeping soul ensnared in the roots, and I helped them struggle free. When they wake, uh, when they wake, they will recall my face as I do theirs. Now you can imagine. I, again, I've I, I won't repeat the thing that I say so much uh, about the peculiar rumor. I mean, obviously. You know, I need to establish the idea of seeing a face in your dreams and seeing it in the waking world and immediately having that recognition. But uh, what I find interesting on this one, imagine in this particular case here, imagine not just that, but in this case here, that the face you see uh, is a public figure, right? What would that mean uh, in terms of your own response to what you had seen? Uh, you know, would you, uh, at least in the in the other cases for the doctor or, or the physician or uh, the aspirant, even the bright young thing, um, you can imagine that this is someone who may not be well known, um, but it's possible. I mean, there's also the possibility here that maybe 
you, know, you can almost imagine the movie version where this isn't somebody who is known, that maybe this person isn't aware of the cabaret that you work at, and maybe they haven't seen you on a poster, um, but instead they sort of sit down. I mean, particularly if they sit down at a performance at the Ecdysis Club and, and see you, although I guess you have a mask on when you do those. So uh, maybe they do go to the gaiety. Maybe they attend one of the parties uh, for Lord Timothy Monday or Nicole, although less likely, obviously, they are... They're a bit different, um, but uh, in this case here, to just sort of see, recognize that that face once they take the stage, I think is is kind of a neat one. And again, it's just another, it's something we're already familiar with, but it's another layer that gets added in, in the context of, of the dancer. Moth sheds its skin, the novice must only shed their clothes and their past. Tristan dislikes distractions, Tristan likes results. Okay, the auctioneer makes a note of my name and signals one of the attendants. I have my prize. I hope it's worth it. A true and complete accounting of the Asclepian mysteries of the roots of the house. And we're getting close to the end of our time here. I want to see if maybe I can start working on the uh, the sickness, though. So we'll just do one more round at Oriflams. We perch on alarming Reetfeld chairs in a windowless auction room with vividly burnt orange walls, waiting for the auctioneer to announce what he's offering. The uh, reek of new paint makes the brain spin. Incidentally, I never read uh, the description of um, Oriflams auction house, so why is there new paint? Oriflam specializes in curios, perfumes, taxidermy specimens, and rare texts. It operates from a cramped new premises now since the destruction of the old by an unexplained fire. Okay, uh, what am I going to do with my talk verb? We do have passion that's exhausted for 30 seconds. Well, if it's 30 seconds, we can get by by talking uh, about moth. So talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. Oh, I should have explored with the peculiar rumor. That's my bad. So this will go to waste, but... And we will grab the book. Normally, like, so oftentimes I've gotten these books after I have leveled up my abilities. But in this case here, the poetry and the essays will wind up be being very helpful. Neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. So we'll immediately go into curing that. I need my health to be in top shape. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. And finally, we will translate the last of the Latin works. So the Orchid Transfigurations, a 16th century alchemical fever dream attributed to Robert Flood, frequently banned for the disturbing allure of its, illustra of its illustrations in the original Latin. And of course, uh, we now have an English translation because we were the ones to translate it. But I think that is where I'll leave it tonight. Well, uh, we can roll over the clock on the benefactor, actually. It'll probably be better than getting surprised by it. Energy. Uh, okay. Tonight my benefactor is full of energy. I should be too. Ugh. I think with the new UI, it's the grabbing in the corner that's probably the biggest, uh, biggest pain point for me. Again, I don't want this to be like a rant against the UI every episode, but I... I do eventually want to offer some like some thoughtful feedback on this. And one thing, because I don't want to mess with the save file too much between streams, I haven't had as much of a chance to experiment. Uh, I did a little experimentation when the patch rolled over. And then uh, if I can do something in the pause screen, like I mess around a bit, like I was talking, I think, on Monday's episode. But uh, in this case, I... Um, you know, it, it would be nice for me to like sit down and like really experiment with some stuff uh, because I'm sure, you know, if it's I, I can't be the only one who's who's having some difficulties. And obviously, I mean, Weather Factory is certainly very good at incorporating feedback, uh, even if it's something that ultimately they decide to go for a different with a different direction. Like it's I can't think of an ever I can't really think of a time where I, I haven't felt heard. And so. You know, in in this case, I uh, I suspect, you know, being able to sort of express, okay, here's here's what I think you're trying to do. Um, here's where I think there's the gap between what I'm expecting and what's what's being delivered. I think that's probably the best way to sort of navigate to to the uh, the end result or the result that we all all benefit from. 
Anyways, after the performance, I am flushed and I am perspiring, but my benefactor seems to like that. They have brought me a glittering little something. So we'll have to get that health back at some point. We've got five funds and a happy patron. Okay. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That's it for this week's episode. So uh, thank you for watching. If you've not yet subscribed to the series uh, or to the channel, please consider doing so. If you would like, you can also turn on the bell for notifications. Those episode, These episodes will be coming up at 6.30 on Monday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Also, if you'd like to help out the series, uh, leaving a like is uh, definitely helpful in terms of uh, getting the videos noticed. And of course, I always like to read your comments. Uh, it's nice. One of the big reasons why I keep doing Cultist Simulator is uh, the fact that for the most part, the comments are very nice ones. And that's not true. I think even uh, the Steam community is somewhat unique for the fact that they are uh, a friendly bunch. And <laughs> that's definitely not very true for... Uh, for the comments actually um not i don't want to make the obviously cult of simulator is the big draw not myself but for those of you who uh like to see how i get sometimes impish about uh cult of simulator there might be a steam comment that i made on the latest patch notes that i at least found amusing um so uh that'll be a little something a little something for you to hunt for uh, it's not worth putting too much effort for it if you if you don't care though it's just me bringing back old old internet memes. Anyways, uh, I hope you all have a lovely week uh, weekend. I will be back Monday for another episode. Take care. <laughs>